Hello students, in last classes we discussed the relation between focal length and radius of curvature for spherical mirror. We got the relation f is equal to r by 2. Today in this class we are going to discuss the mirror equation. To derive mirror equation I am using the concave mirror. Because we know that concave mirror is a converging mirror. You consider a concave mirror XY. XY is a concave spherical mirror. This is the open surface. This is the reflecting surface. That's why I have shown in last classes the image formation. This is P. This is what P. P is the midpoint of spherical mirror. Then C. What is C? Center of curvature. This is principal axis. Now you consider a object AB. What is AB? AB is the object. From the object, I am going to take a 2 to 3 rays of light to get image. From the object, the ray is perpendicular to the from the object the ray is parallel to the principal axis it strikes a reflecting surface of the mirror the point I took M after reflection the reflected ray meets the principal axis the point P is F principal focus now from the object the ray passes on center of curvature. You know that the ray replaces its the same part because this is perpendicular to the mirror. Now from the object, the ray passes to the pole. At pole, it obeys the laws of reflection. Now the reflected rays meet at one point, really meet at one point. At this point, real image is going to form. Real is always inverted and using A dash, B dash. A B is the object. A dash, B dash is the real and inverted image. Here I am going to derive the mirror equation. Here I am using sign conventions. I you know that here I am using Cartesian sign convention. We have to measure all the distances from the pole. No, that PF. What is PF? PF is CF focal length, the distance between pole and focus. Now, this is the image. The distance between pole and the place of the image is called V. What is V? Image distance. The distance between pole and place of the object is called object distance, U. The mirror equation connects the relation between focal length, object distance and image distance. Now, here I am using the two triangles. Here, the first triangle is A dash, B dash, F. The other triangle is M, P, F. The triangles, the triangles A dash, B dash, F and M, F are similar. You know that if two triangles are similar, then the ratio of the two sides are proportional to ratio of the other two sides. Now observe here carefully A dash B dash B dash F M P F P. You know that this triangle A dash B dash F and M, P, F. These two triangles are similar. If two triangles are similar, I am going to take the sides. In this triangle, the first side is A dash, B dash. Divided by M, P. M, P, F. In this triangle, I am using M, P side. Is equal to. Second side is B dash, F. In this triangle, uh, the second side is P, F. Two triangles are similar, 
and then the ratio of the two sides are proportional to ratio of the other two sides. Here, I'm using paraxial ray. I have shown that for paraxial ray, the angles are very small. Paraxial ray is very closer to principal axis. For paraxial ray, we consider MB is straight. Actually, here MB is curved. But for paraxial ray, we can also take, we can consider MB straight. This is MB. For paraxial ray, see, same. That's why right. I'm using, I'm considering MB straight for paraxial ray. MB is considered straight. For paraxial, for paraxial. Assume yourself, if M B is straight, M B is straight or right, then I am going to write M B is equal to A B. This height is equal to this height. Now I am writing M B is equal to A B. In this expression, I am writing A dash B dash by M B. What is MB? MB is equal to AB. Now I am writing B dash F divided by PF. This is equation number 1. Now similarly, I am using the other two triangles. The other two triangles are A dash, B dash, P and ABP. The triangles A dash B dash P and A B P are similar triangles. Are similar. If two triangles are similar, then we are going to write the ratio of the two sides is proportional to the ratio of the other two sides. How these two triangles are similar? A dash B dash P A B P. Just observe carefully. A B this is the angle of incidence. This is the angle of reflection. We know that according to the laws of reflection, the angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. And the two angles similar. Now similarly, we know that this is right angle triangle 90 degree. This is also right angle triangle 90 degree. These two angles are also equal. If two angles are equal in the two triangles, the other side, the other angle is also similar. That's why these two triangles are similar. Now I am going to use A dash B dash divided by A B. The ratio of the two sides is first side, first side, second side, second side, second side. B dash P or B P B dash. B P or P B. Equation 2. From equation 1 and 2, here left hand side is equal a dash b dash by a b, a dash b dash by a b. Therefore, from equation 1 and 2, from equation 1 and 2, we get, I am going to use 2 in 1, then p b dash by p b is equal to B dash F divided by P F. Dear students, here P B dash is equal to B image distance. P B P B is equal to object distance. P F is equal to focal length. But we don't know B dash F. That's why I am writing B dash F in terms of P B dash and PF. P B dash is equal to PF plus B dash F. Here I am writing P B dash is equal to PF plus B dash F. Now I am writing B dash F is equal to P B dash minus PF directly. We can write in the place of B dash F. 
Now I'm going to write it. P B dash divided by P B is equal to B dash F. What is B dash F? P B dash minus P F divided by P F. Here I'm using sign convention. We know that all the distances are measured from the pole. I am to go from pole. The incident ray is in this direction, but I am going from pole. That is get a rest. Huh? Now PF, PF is equal to minus F. P B dash. P B dash is equal to B minus V. P B P B is equal to U but minus U. Because I am going to measure the distances. Here the incident ray is again as to this direction. For real and inverted image, in this case, all are negative, negative, negative. P B dash. P B dash is equal to minus V. P B. P B is equal to minus U. And P F is equal to minus F. So I am using this expression. P B dash is minus V. P B. P B. P B is minus U. P B dash is minus V. P F is minus F. P F is minus F. Minus minus get cancels. P B by U is equal to minus V plus F by minus F. Now rearranging the terms. And, uh, I'm multiplying minus F to the V and U to this side. Minus V into F cross multiplication u into v minus u v plus u into f u f to get the equation i am going to multiply u v f on both sides divide u v f on both sides minus v f divided by u v f is equal to minus uv divided by uvf plus uf divided by uvf uf uf get cancels uv uv get cancels vf vf get cancels the remaining terms are here minus 1 by u is equal to here minus 1 by f here 1 by v just by rearranging the terms, I am taking minus 1 by f to the left hand side and minus 1 by u to the right hand side. Minus becomes plus, here minus becomes plus. Now what is the final expression? The final expression is 1 by f is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v. This is a very important equation. This equation is called mirror equation. I told that the mirror equation is 1 by f is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v. The mirror equation gives the relation between f, u and v. Here u is object distance, v is image distance and f is focal length. By knowing u and v, we are going to calculate the focal length of the spherical mirror. Otherwise, by knowing F and V, we are going to calculate the object distance. By knowing focal length and object distance, we are going to calculate V. What is V? Image distance. Um, dear students, now we are going to discuss the topic linear magnification. It is very important. When we will get the diminished image? When we will get the enlarged image, a real image, or virtual image. That's why by using magnification, we are going to decide the enlarged image or the virtual image. Here I am using the one-dimensional object. That's why linear magnification. What is linear magnification? Now, AB. What is AB? AB is the object. H. H is the height of the object, H dash, H dash is the height of the image. Now, magnification. 
magnification is defined as the ratio of height of the image to height of the object or the one dimension object I am going to write size of the image to size of the object or size of the height to height of the image to height of the object size of the image to size of the object or height of the image to height of the object of the image to height of the object. Here I am using sign conventions. M is equal to size of the image. Here height is measuring downwards means negative sign convention. Height is measured upwards means positive sign convention. Yes, but to get the formula uh, height of the image is h sorry h dash height of the object is h for magnification m is equal to h dash by h height of the image to height of the object or size of the image to size of the object uh, the magnification may be positive or negative so here I am using magnitude of magnification. The magnitude of magnification is equal to 1 means the same size as of the object. Object is size of the image you to ask If you get magnitude of uh, m is equal to 1. Magnitude of m is greater than 1 means enlarged image. You get the enlarged image. The magnitude of magnification is greater than 1. You will get enlarged image. I, in last class, I have shown that by using concave mirror, we are going to produce the virtual and enlarged image. Means the enlarged image means magnitude of magnification is greater than 1. The magnitude of magnification is less than 1 means diminished image. If object size is more, the image size is less. Then you get diminished image. Diminished image. So I, I told that by using magnification, we are going to decide the enlarged image or diminished image, a same size as of the object. Does it have any relation between M, U, and V? Yes. Huh? I am going to give the relation between M, U, and V. Relation between M, U, and V. Here, once again, I am using the two uh, triangles, right angle triangles A dash, B dash, P, and A, B, P. Know that A dash, B dash, P, and A, B, P are similar triangles. The triangles A dash, B dash, P, and A, B, P are similar triangles. Here, if two triangles are similar, the ratio of the two sides are proportional to the ratio of the other two sides. A dash, B dash by A, B is equal to P, B dash by P, B. Here, I am using sign convention. Sign convention, A dash, B dash. A dash, B dash is image. Huh? Here, inverted image. I am measuring I downwards. I downwards means negative sign convention. A, B, A, B, A, B is object. Here, huh? measuring I upwards. I upwards means positive sign convention. Huh? You know that P, P, P dash. P, P dash is equal to B but minus 3. You have to measure the distance from pole. Huh? The distance against incident light minus. And P B P B is equal to minus U P B direction against to the incident light P B is equal to minus U. Here I am using A B A dash B dash minus H dash A B A B is equal to H P B dash is equal to minus B P B is equal to minus U. This cancels. Then P B U. To take minus to the right hand side, 
x x dash y x is equal to minus v by u. We know that the definition of magnification m is equal to x dash by h. And using m, what is m? X dash by h here. Now I am using m is equal to minus v by u. This is the relation between m, u, and v. It is very important relation. It gives the relation between uh, uh, m, u, and v. M is magnification. V is image distance. U is object distance. So right. today in this class we learned the mirror equation and the linear magnification. Thank you.